Hi everyone welcome back to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Digest, I hope you are all will be fine, God give you more happiness and prosperity, today I am telling you about the Iraqi Dinar recent exchange rate AMD its value. Now, let's get into today's main topic. Why do you think Ali Alilak, the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, is currently in New York? He's dealing with banks that are under sanctions. This trip is crucial and aims to remove some of the red tape hindering economic progress. You might be wondering, how do you value a country? It's based on its resources, right? A comprehensive analysis is needed to determine its value. Some people have been working on feasibility studies for Iraq since 2003 or 2004. I know of one such individual from Central Coast, California, because I once wrote to him about his study. We've been observing the ebb and flow of this situation ever since. My involvement began around 2010 when I came across a significant 198-page document from the IMF. It suggested a potential reinstatement value of $3.22 for the Iraqi dinar, which caught my attention. Since then, I've been closely following these developments. Recently, there have been rumors about some significant changes. Initially, we heard that something was going to happen on Monday night, then Tuesday night. Now, the speculation is focused on this weekend. The QFS, quantum financial system, is reportedly connected, especially for redemption centers. That's promising news. All we need now is the go-ahead through emails, so we can set up appointments to start the process. The latest intel suggests that we could receive notifications by Friday, the 30th. If we don't start exchanges by then, it might be pushed to the weekend, possibly even into September due to the Labor Day holiday. Have you ever wondered how a country's financial health impacts its interactions with other nations? This brings us to today's topic, an unexpected yet crucial visit by the Central Bank of Iraq to the United States. This isn't a routine trip there's a lot at stake. The delegation, led by Governor Ali Alilak, is in the US to address pressing issues in Iraq's banking sector. What developments are being discussed, and why are they so important? Let's explore. First, let's identify the key players. The Central Bank of Iraq, a vital institution responsible for monetary policy and financial stability, is leading this delegation. Governor Ali Alalek is accompanied by several general managers from the bank. They started their visit on the 26th of this month, highlighting the urgency to resolve specific banking challenges. So, why is this visit significant? One of the main issues on the table is the restriction on using the US dollar. Many private banks in Iraq face hurdles in dollar transactions, creating a ripple effect that impacts businesses and daily transactions. In today's global economy, being unable to use a major currency like the dollar can lead to various complications. The restrictions stem from U.S. measures aimed at curbing illegal activities, such as money laundering and terrorist financing. To access dollars, banks must comply with stringent guidelines, the Iraqi delegation's goal is to find ways to ease these restrictions, enabling legitimate banks to participate in the global economy without unnecessary barriers. Imagine trying to run a business without access to essential resources that's the reality for many Iraqi companies right now. The importance of this meeting is clear. Improving banking relations could lead to greater stability and growth in the Iraqi economy. If the Iraqi banks gain better access to the dollar, this could boost investment from both local and international players. Additionally, it might strengthen diplomatic ties between Iraq and the US, paving the way for more collaborative financial initiatives in the region. Let's consider how these changes could affect everyday Iraqis. If banks have easier access to dollars, they could offer improved services, better loan options, and more efficient transactions. 
this would allow people to manage their finances more effectively, which is essential for economic stability. Moreover, businesses could expand with easier access to capital, potentially leading to job creation and a boost in the employment rate. This visit is not just about financial figures it's about improving the lives of people. Financial analysts have been closely monitoring this visit, and many believe it could be a turning point for Iraq. A successful negotiation could open the door for Iraq to revitalize its economic land escape. Of course, some skeptics argue that past challenges could pose obstacles, but continued dialogue is essential for overcoming these issues. As the saying goes, every journey begins with a single step, and this visit could be the first step toward financial reform and stability for Iraq. Switching gears, let's discuss the broader implications for the Middle East. If Iraq successfully navigates its banking restrictions, it could serve as a model for other countries facing similar issues. A stable Iraqi economy could contribute significantly to regional stability. This visit might encourage other nations to engage more proactively with the U.S. on financial matters, fostering cooperation, trust building, and sustainable economic practices. It's about showing that diplomacy and dialogue can lead to practical solutions. Navigating these complex issues while ensuring that all parties feel heard and valued is no easy task. But that's precisely what Governor Ali Alek and his team are striving to achieve during their time in the U.S. We'll continue to monitor this visit closely to see how things unfold. Before we wrap up, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think will come out of these high-level meetings? Leave your comments below and share your opinions. As we conclude, it's evident that the Central Bank of Iraq's visit to the U.S. could mark a pivotal moment for Iraq's economy and its standing on the international stage. Keep following our channel for updates on this story. We'll continue to track these developments closely. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any insights. Until next time, stay informed and take care.